Hello, and welcome to the Media Center's sixth Local Hero Award series, in which we showcase a total of six people from the Mid-Peninsula for outstanding achievement or contributions to the community. We solicited nominations and were particularly looking for the unsung heroes. Each winner is an inspiration, and each has a great story to tell. The image of a selfless nun working tirelessly to help the poor and needy has been around for centuries, but it's heartening to discover that it's alive and well in East Palo Alto. Sister Trinitas Hernandez was taking food to the hungry in East Palo Alto when she began to realize that simply delivering food was not helping people pull out of poverty. In particular, she wanted to do more for the immigrant mothers and children who seemed isolated from the rest of the community. So she rented a small apartment and began teaching free English lessons to the women. This was the beginning of the Rosalie Rondu Center, which has served women and children with remarkable success for 14 years now. Sister Trinitas also partnered with the Palo Alto Junior League in creating a kindergarten readiness program, outdoor play areas, and additional classes for men. The peer-to-peer -peer relationships that have developed between the two very different communities have proven particularly meaningful to both parties. I'd like to get an idea of what goes on at the Rosalie Rondu Center. If I were a fly in the wall in one of your programs, what would I see? You'd see a group of women there to learn English. However, in teaching English, we do more than just English. We do character building. We do a development of self-esteem, which is very important for the Latino woman because so many don't seem to have a lot of self-esteem. And so that's kind of, you'll hear a lot of laughter because we do a lot of, of happiness. They just, they're very happy, joyful women. So in the teaching of English, you try to make it fun also because it's a hard language to learn. Tell me more about why your volunteers volunteer. I think they volunteer probably for the same reason I do what I do, because they are also receiving so much and they admire so much. We started uh, about a year, two years ago, a conversation club, mm -hmm. because I realized that the hardest part of learning a language is the speaking of it. You can read it and write it. When you have to speak it, it's terrible. So we've brought volunteers in and we have a retired Shakespearean professor from Stanford, an English professor, uh, an engineer, a retired lawyer, and they come in and only speak English, and our ladies can admit that it's making them more comfortable. They're not afraid to speak anymore, even they'll say, Sister, my English still isn't perfect, but I'm not afraid anymore. And that's what I want, is that they can get rid of their, their fear Mm -hmm. of making the mistakes. And they and I always tell them, you know, my Spanish isn't perfect. And they say, we know, sister. And so <laughs> then it gives them a little bit of courage, too, that they can, they can do that. And the volunteers seem to really enjoy it because they're getting to know a whole different uh, uh, clients, I guess, a whole different group of people. What gives you the most joy from what you do? I guess... Um, Seeing people realize that they have within them the ability to change their lives, to take a stand. The more we realize that these are human beings and they're trying to raise a family and do, they want the same things. We had the first outing that the Junior League took the ladies on. They were so nervous, my ladies. And so when they came back, I said, well, how was it? And they said, oh, sister, it was okay. They said, what are we going to talk about? But it didn't matter. She said, sister, we found that they're the same as we are. They have problems with their husbands. They have problems with their children. The only difference is they have money in their wallets. So what is your message to these women? What would you most like them to understand? That they're important, that they are of value, that they can do something with their life. To find out more about our local heroes and to watch interviews with all the winners, visit our website, midpenmedia.org. 
At the Mid Peninsula Community Media Center, you can make your own videos and television programs and take classes in all aspects of media production. You can also hire our professional services team. To find out more, go to mcproservices.com. Congratulations to all our winners, and thank you for watching.